again in another video my name is Kenya and uh, well, welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to talk about shea butter there is so much to know about shea butter and I hope you stay with me to learn as much as you can about the benefits of shea butter so what is shea butter shea butter is um, a butter a fat that is extracted from the seeds and or rather the nuts of a shea tree shea trees grow in um, in West Africa and some parts of East Africa so this tree takes about 20 to 50 years to grow what are some of the properties of shea butter well when you look at it shea butter is it can come in a refined form or unrefined form now when you look at the refined form it is white in color refined mean that it goes a process in which it is you know you have the nutrients removed the vitamins are removed the odor is removed and also the color the color is bleached so it's completely white then whilst for the unrefined shea butter this is in its raw you know purest form it has all its nutrients present it has all the you know the vet, the vitamins present it has all those benefits and the healing uh, anti-inflammatory properties are still present that smell that raw nutty smell that how you can tell that this is pure shea butter and in unrefined shea butter you have a difference in color you have one that is like um, off-white or ivory color and then you have the yellow one there's a big debate of oh which is better is it the yellow one is it the white one you know there's all these debates about which is better so it is best to know the difference so you can choose for yourself which is best so for the off-white the ivory colored shea butter is usually the rawest form you can find this is how shea butter is when it is extracted when it is you know after it has gone the process from you know of removing it from the from the seed so this is that color that's how it looks this is off-white um, olive um, rather ivory color then with the yellow color it is usually has some things added to it in some countries they add uh, what you call the borututu root uh, this root is it has its medicinal benefits it's it's like a super root and it also comes in that yellowish color and that is why it gives this color to the yellow shea butter and in other countries also they do add palm oil palm oil of course is an oil that comes from the palm tree and if you've seen a palm tree you know that it has a reddish looking fruit so once the palm oil is added into the shea butter then it gives it that yellow bright color so this is how the yellow shea butter is achieved so it's not like one is more superior than the other or doesn't have you know it depends on what you're looking for if you're looking for the benefits of the borrow tutu i hope i'm pronouncing that right the borrow tutu tree then of course go for the yellow one that contains it if you're looking for the benefits of both shea butter and palm oil then you go for the other yellow one but if you're looking for you know want just the refined raw shea butter without none of that added to it then go for the white for the off-white um ivory colored shea butter shea butter is also a really good moisturizer it is moisturizing highly moisturizing in my opinion it's the most moisturizing product i've ever encountered in my life and since i discovered it i have never looked back and i've never even ever wanted to try anything else other than shea butter it has come in handy for years not only for my skin but for my hair as well so that is how i've been able to use its moisturizing advantages for myself and even for my clients that it is anti-inflammatory that means that if you have maybe a scratch you have a burn you have um maybe a sore mask so you can actually use the shea butter to heal your skin you can use it to relieve the soreness of muscles and joint pains it comes pretty handy when you're going through or experiencing some kind of an ease and it's pretty good for buns i have gone through so many buns you know in the kitchen from frying things and everything and uh, i can tell you for sure it has relieved the buns for me and of course um if you you know you have scars from pimples from acne from you know anything you can use shea butter and at least get back to almost normal like your skin will go back to let's say 96 percent of how it normally is as a for hair it can be used in your hair treatment or for daily moisturizing and shea butter of course can be used on all hair types but as you know 
you know afro people or afro hair types are the ones that tend to want moisture and oils more being put into their hair more often so i would say that it is best for afros to use it on their hair whether it is for weekly treatments or for daily treatments so what you can do is deep, uh, do like a deep conditioning, a weekly deep condition, daily moisturizing. Well, in its nature, shea butter of course is solid, but you just take a little bit, put on your on your palm, use your finger, and you know, spread it evenly, and then apply evenly through your hair. That is even after a wash and go, or let's say when you're doing a wash and go, you can just apply directly to your hair and make sure it's you know it's all in there, and then style as as desired and go about your day and your hair will be protected and your hair will be moisturized and you can be able to do amazing things with your hair because it's manageable all thanks to the wonders of shea butter and sun protection well shea butter offers some kind of sun protection whereby it kind of like coats your skin and protects it from the sun that's whereby you find some people saying oh i use the shea butter and i got darker not that there's anything wrong with being dark for sure but uh, what happens is shea butter coats your skin and you know it's thick and really covers all around so it coats your skin when the sun hits your skin then it tends to burn the shea butter then rather than burn your skin and that is how you're able to stay protected from the sun by itself shea butter is not sufficient to be able to act as a sunscreen because the sun protection factor is about three to four so it's not sufficient to be able to protect you so you need to use another sunscreen alongside it shea butter and stretch marks so there's always that you know when you you start to research on stretch marks but what i came to understand for myself is that stretch marks occur in the dermis of your skin and they happen because of the pulling and stretching like when you gain weight or you lose weight it has an effect on your skin so this this is how you end up getting a stretch when this happens it means that you don't have enough collagen or enough you know because collagen gives your body that the ability you know to stay supple and to stay together you know collagen is the protein that makes up you know part of your of your skin right so the vitamin a and the vitamin e e in the in the shea butter work together to be able to replace the collagen and the elasticin that was you know is not present in a in a stretch mark so if it has already happened since the mark and the process has already taken place then the best thing to do is you just need to keep replacing what was lost when the you know during the process leave the effects of the stretch mark the stretch mark may not disappear of course forever because the process has already taken place but at least it will not be as visible and it will be able to blend into your natural skin color so it will at least be healed let's say um, 90% of your skin will have come back or you won't be able to see this effect as as pronounced as it was before some people also use shea butter in their cooking maybe as a butter or as an oil as you would any other butter or any other oil in a recipe so it's obviously healthy for consumption it contains about 40 grams of of, um, of fat and no protein at all and it doesn't have cholesterol so it's a really good fat for cooking although I've never really come across a recipe that has shea butter in it but I believe maybe uh, some of our West African and some East African countries could have some recipes that include shea butter in their in their in their food preparation also as a reminder make sure you're not allergic to shea butter so before you start using it do a patch test that's where you apply on a small part of yourself and then you you see if you have any kind of reaction from it because some people that are allergic to nuts could be allergic to something of this or other types of reactions that could come with allergies you never know so the best thing to do is make sure you do a patch test thank you for tuning in today i really hope you enjoyed the video and you learned as much as possible before you make your next purchase of shea butter my dk shea butter for now is only available in china i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you on my next one